All right, guys, here we are. We have been building a 72 volt e-bike and it's not perfect, but we're to a point where we can probably configure the controller. So what we're gonna try and do today is configure the Sabaton 72-100 controller. It's a 100 amp controller that we're gonna connect up to our 72 volt battery. It is charged to 80.8 .8 volts, which is 85% charged. And that's essentially what we're gonna do for the life of this battery pack. So it's a little worse for wear, but that's fine. There's wires everywhere. We haven't done any cleanup for it, but this is generally how it's gonna be until we connect it up. So we're just gonna do some testing on it, make sure that it works, and hopefully do some configurations. I have some settings that I configured here. My boost limit and my DC limit current is gonna be the same as my 80 amp controller. I do have a 200 amp burst on the controller as well. So the phase current is gonna be 200 amps and the max phase current is gonna be 240 amps. The protected phase current is 300 amps. We do want to enable the e-brake enable. We're gonna do the electric pH current of 50 amps. That's when we depress the brake right here. We're going to enable a 50 amp regen. We're going pretty conservative on that right now. For the regenerative charge, Anytime we let off the throttle, we are going to regen at a rate of 25 amps. That again is pretty conservative as well. I just don't know what to expect here. The regen charge current, so it's ro rotating, it's a 16 inch wheel. It's 4.7 miles an hour, but five miles per hour is essentially when we cut off that regen. And then throttle mid current is gonna be 125 amps. This is based off your max phase current. So when we hit half throttle, we'll, be, we'll have more than half of the amperage going towards it. Motor direction, um, I think it's going the right direction at, at zero. We could reverse it if we switch it to one. And then the mode, the speed mode limit, we're, we're not gonna have a limit for our speed mode. The controller has this little USB connection that's always attached to it. And there is a Bluetooth module that you connect up to it. So the Bluetooth module is gonna be connected. I believe we have to connect the battery up and then turn on the display before the Bluetooth module will, will be enabled. I've never, I haven't been able to get this to work so far, but today we're gonna try and do it together and get it all configured. All right, great, great, let's go. So this is the app we're looking for, the MQCon by, by Terra Novo Tech. And we're gonna go ahead and open it and you can see it's not connected. We do have Bluetooth enabled, I believe. Yeah, we have Bluetooth enabled, we're ready to go. So we just need to connect it together. Did get a little spark there. I put a little switch on this uh, e-ignition 72 volt. So let's turn that on and see if we can get power now. Aha, ha, ha, it worked. There is this wire, which is the wire that goes to the display. There's a couple of different things on this particular wire. Let me show you. So there's a, I think this is, I think five, you got five things on this wire, five wires. There's this little um, short right here. If you plug this in, you will be able to use the bike without a display. So it'll keep the display always on. And then we also have our e-ignition. I just put a switch on the e-ignition, on and off switch. So I, I can just hide this on the bike, a simple on and off, just to make sure that people can't turn it on quickly and just take off. So that's, that what we're going to do is there's this three pin connection that's connected to the display we're going to disconnect this because we are using we are going to use the mqcon app to work on it so we're going to unplug that and we should get some type of error right here so we're getting this communication error right here see that okay communication error so that means we can't read it. And that's exactly what we want. We don't want to read it. We want to pull up the app. All right, let's see if we can connect to it. Oh, there's the MQCon. I was having an issue connected to this before and it's because I didn't have the display. All right, we have, it's on normal, flux enable. Uh, okay, so you hit that little button and then there's some parameters. We have our battery voltage. We have 
motor speed, haul value, throttle. So the first thing we want to do is we want to test the initial settings. So let's go to the settings right here. <clears throat> and we have a motor parameter. We're going to take the given current, set this to 20 amps. What we need to do for this is we need to actually lift the rear wheel of the motorcycle because it's going to do some tests. And we are going to switch this to run mode, test mode. And we're going to hit save. Operation done. And we're going to run a haul test. I've never done this before, so let's do this together. In every other video I've seen, it kind of moves forward slowly. Okay, 15 amps. Make sure that's saved. We are in test mode. Let's try it again. Hall test. It's moving backwards. So 20 amps didn't work too well. 15 amps appears to be working. Okay. Operation failed. Well, that never happens. <laughs> Why does the operation fail? My display turned off just then, and then it disconnected. So I wonder if it dis disconnects after five minutes or something. So we're gonna go back into the settings. I'm gonna try and do this haul test again. Let's try it one more time. Okay, round two, let's do a haul test. Go. Okay, now it's spinning backwards. That's not the direction I want it to go, but maybe it's supposed to spin backwards? I don't even know. And I don't know how long this is gonna take either. It's making a kind of high-pitched noise, can you hear that? and it's spinning backwards, and it's supposed to be setting something. And 20 amps was a little too much, I guess. I heard someone say start at 10 amps, and then try 15, then 20 if it doesn't work. A lot of other people on the internet just said do 20. So I just did 20 initially, and 20 did not work for me. I had to go down to 15 amps for it to work properly. And hopefully, this is going to work properly. So I'm just going to hold that right there until it's done. We can kind of skip forward in this. It stopped moving. We still have that communication error. Status, test OK. OK. So let's set this back to zero. OK. And normal operation. Save. Let's go back. Um, I wonder if this can actually go right now. Okay, that spins the correct direction. Cool. We're fault free, we're good, so let's start setting these settings. Lack voltage should be set to 60, I think. That's three per cell, because I have 20 cells, 20, 40, 60, yep. Current limit voltage. This is if we get down to this voltage, we are going to limit the current. So if we get down to 65 volts, we are going to limit the current to 30 amps. Save. If we get down to 60 volts, that's three volts per cell, we are going to stop running the motor. DC current, this is the limit we are going to limit this to 80 amps. That is what my controller can handle, or what my BMS can handle, I guess. Boost current, this is if we are um, coming onto the throttle. This is also going to be 80. This is, isn't going to matter because we're going to have just a snap throttle. I just set the rated phase current to 200 and it only went to 150. That's so weird. 
Editor Dave here, so I kept trying to set the rated phase current to 200, even though my controller could only do 100. And the app kept setting it back to 150 for me. So if the app keeps changing the setting that you're using, make sure you're using the correct setting, because it's probably trying to protect you from blowing up your controller. Max phase current, uh, I put at 240. Protected phase current, I was going to have that to be 300. Three hundred. Okay. Save. Let's turn on e-brake. Uh, e-brake current. I think we'll try hard start initially. We are going to disable flux weakening. So that'll that'll drain the battery a lot more than I want it to. E-brake. We're going to set this to fifty amps. That's phase amps. We are going to enable regen. Regen current. I have it set. I have it. I was gonna have it be 20, but 30 is fine. Regen start speed. No anti theft. E brake current that changed. So let's set this back to 50. Save. Throttle mid current. Set this to 125. Decelerate 100, accelerate 200. That's perfect. Motor rotation is 1. Speed limit, no limit. Internal speed limit, 45. Low speed limit, 45. I don't know what this means, so I'm going to leave those the same. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.